y'all already know who this is, man. Mr. Red Carpet, man. Y'all already know I'm coming, man. Straight out of bed, if you're in North Carolina, man. Check me out on all platforms, man. You are now tuned in to Verify ATL. Tuned in to Verify ATL. Yo, 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 what's happening? It's your boy Ugly Money for show. And you are now tuned in with Verify ATL. Today we got a special guest, man. Uh, my guy, man, he doing this thing, man. I'm, I'm gonna just let him do his thing, man. Mr. Red Carpet, what's happening, bro? What's good, bro? Man, cool, man. Pleasure, pleasure to finally have you on the couch, man. Yeah, I done work hard to be up. I already know, man. I'm sorry, uh, Miss Let Me Touch It is not here today. You know what I'm saying? To let you touch her and all that, but you know what I'm saying? We gonna, we gonna. He gonna touch in his spirit for you, Tiny. You know what I'm saying? He gonna touch his spirit. So what's up, man? Tell us what's going on, man. Look, man, you know, I'm just working hard right now, man. Just putting everything together. You know, okay. I got a lot of things going on right now. You know, uh, wait, wait, well, let's, let's start this off. Where you from, man? Let the people know what's oh, going yeah. on. Where you from? Man, I'm from Fayetteville, North Carolina. Okay, North Carolina. North Carolina. Uh, any, any, Fayetteville, is it close to where, uh, I know y'all got, with the baby out there, and it's kind of for Vegas. It's close to It's close to Charlotte? Yeah, okay, Charlotte. okay. Close to Charlotte. So how, how's the music scene in, in Fayetteville? The music scene, the music scene ain't really, ain't really too good down there, man. You know, the only person we got really from Fayetteville is J. Cole, but you know how oh, that go, shit. though. You know what I mean? Oh, J. Cole is from Fayetteville. Yeah, you know how that go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I understand that, I understand that. Yeah, so you know, me, I just, you know, I just came home from the Fed. Hey, so, welcome home, man. Yeah, you know. So I just came up from Vegas just trying to do my lane. Like, any showcase, anything, I'm there. Mm -hmm. I don't care if I got to pay my way because you got to promote yourself. How long you been rap or doing music? I've been doing music for a long time. Bro. Really? A long time, but, I, you know, like I said, bro, I've been incarcerated half of my life. How long you was in? I just did seven, seven and a half years in the feds. Ooh. But all together, I ain't number 32. Right. All together, I done did 16 years all together. Like, I'm a juvenile all, all together. So now, you know, like this last bid just opened my eyes, man. Like Damn. the people, places, the things, bro. The people you hang around, that's who you are. Right. So I just right. took that to advantage. You know, keep my circle small. Mm -hmm. You know, people be ratting out here, man. Want to see, but you motherfuckers can't stand up, do their time. Right, right. Gonna take the next man down. You know how that go. That's what they say. You got to do your day by your lonely. You know I what I'm saying? God. Got to. For real, for real. So, um, tell us, like, man, like, I know you on uh, with the bread game tour going on with uh, Ugly Money. You, oh yeah, you, you yeah, doing yeah. you doing a tour? Tell us, tell us what's going on about that. First of all, tell tell them what the bread game tour is. Oh, the bread. That's the uh, bread game. That's the money bag. Yo, talent search tour. Mm -hmm. So you know, it was in Charlotte. So okay. you know, I'm in North Carolina. So you know, there ain't nothing but a hot skip. So Where's I went that? there. You know, I went there and just showed out. You know, I brought the whole gang with me. Mm -hmm. Posters, flyers, everything, mm -hmm. man. It's about that presentation. And, you know, I just went out there and showed out. You know what I'm saying? Before, you know, usually they judge at the end. You know, I went so hard. They you just like, bro, you going to Atlanta. I ain't <laughs> trying to hear none Damn. of that. You going to Atlanta. Damn. Like and that? Just like that. And, and, you, and you going to Atlanta. I'm not trying to hear none of that. So, you know. And, and I know, and I know your music real, cause when we do the uh, the song review, man, you done came on that song review a couple times. Yeah, I don't want. You know what I'm saying? You know, I won a song review one time. Yeah, yeah. Got sent to Authentic Empire. Okay. You know? Shout out to AE. Shout out to AE. Shout out to AE, man. Boom, man, and everybody. Man. Mm -hmm. I went there, you know, but you know, I ain't like I said, I just coming home. I ain't really had no catalog, no YouTube, no blank. Okay. So I basically I just went in the blank. Out the muscle, yeah. Mm -hmm. But now I'm yeah. ready. You ready now? Yeah, tell them to come holler at me now. I'm so, ready. so who you in, you uh working with anybody that that you know what I'm saying? Who you like working with now as far as like producers, other artists? You working with any other artists? Yeah, yeah, like the producer, uh, kid named uh Draco. Draco kid, yeah. Yeah, Draco uh -huh. Nietzsche turned me on to him. Okay. So when Nietzsche turned me on to him, cause the beats I used to have was just I'm going hard on there, so it's just the beats won't it won't nothing. So mm -hmm. you know. He was like, bro, that's all you need. You gonna take off. So ever since then, bro, I just been, I just been buzzing, messing with Draco. I done did, I done did a song. I got a feature with China. Mm -hmm. She jumped on a song with me, and I just jumped on a song with her earlier today, hard. China Monet, shout out. Yeah, China, China, Monet. China Monet, hard. She hard. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. hard. That's what's up, man. So, so tell, tell the the artist or tell like how is it, how important it is to, to find a, a actual producer and to get beats from a producer versus 
going on the YouTube and finding beats and stuff like yeah, that. Like, man. I gotta like, say, let's, let's talk about that. Let's talk about it. Yeah, that. I gotta say that just like Nietzsche say, man, them, you, them YouTube beats is like a hoe. Everybody <laughs> gonna fuck them. Everybody. Everybody gonna fuck them, man. You can't, you got to, you got to find you a good producer. Find your lane. Don't try to be like nobody else. Mm -hmm. Find your own lane. When you find your own lane and you get that right beat, it's over, man. It's, it's, over. it's over with. You gonna, you gonna skyrocket. You gonna skyrocket, man. I, I feel <laughs> it ain't nothing wrong to, you know, as far as like, I mean, back in the day, people used to do more writing back in the day, you know what I'm saying? And they probably used to rehearse over beats. Like, I don't feel there's nothing wrong with going to YouTube and finding like a certain tempo yeah. or a type of beat that you might want. But as far as like putting the music out with just a random YouTube beat. Yeah, and then the song might be hard. The song right. that you make on the beat might be hard. Might be hard. But at the same time, you can't do nothing with it. Because mm -hmm. everybody got the same beat. Mm -hmm. You can't do nothing with it, man. You can't do nothing with the song, man. It's like a waste. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, nowadays, you know, people might get the YouTube beat, remake the beat, and then do it like that. Mm -hmm. But ain't nothing wrong with you going up there, you know. Ain't nothing wrong with going up there to YouTube and stuff like that, man. But nowadays, well, you just got to find your producer and lock in. Mm -hmm. That's what I did, bro. I just found this dude, Draco Kid. Shout out to Draco. Mm -hmm. One Draco Kid on Instagram. Follow him. He hard. Who does uh, who does uh, Red Carpet listen to? Who I listen to? Who you listen to? Who is your top top five people? I, let, let's, let's back it up. Okay, let's say who is your top five influencers in the game as far as musically? Musically? Yeah, top top five people that you can look up to and be like, man, you know what? As Music. far as his business or her business, it could be a him or her, you know what I'm saying? Her, him, business, they record, they track record, they catalog, like it could be all that. It could be old or new. Man, first and foremost, man, this has been my favorite rapper. Okay. Hands down, Project Pat, man. That's what Project I grew up Pat. off of. Project, Project Pat. Pat. Shout out to Project yeah, Pat. Yeah, Project Pat, man. Out the gate. I, I see your China was here. She she had been the vibe that you know China oh, yeah. from Memphis. Oh yeah. Yeah, China Red from Memphis. So Yeah, Project so, yeah. yeah, Project Pat, man. Hands down. Mm -hmm. That's what I grew up off of in North Carolina, man. That's what we all grew up off okay. of. Okay. Okay. You got Project Pat. Um, okay. After Project Pat, you know. Jeezy, mm -hmm. Gucci, mm -hmm. uh, uh -oh. I don't really listen to too much, too but them though, like, do them. you listen to yourself a lot? Oh, or, yeah, I listen or to are myself. you one of those people that you know you you nah. making so much music you just yeah. you just go? Cause I know some people that don't like to listen to their own stuff like that, you know. Yeah, I listen to my music a lot though because. Mm -hmm. It just made me like, dang, I, I should have came this way. Mm -hmm. Or I should, it just, it just made me better. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But yeah, that's all I really listen to. Like, you know, Lil Baby. Mm -hmm. Lil Baby hard. He killing the game right yeah, now. Yeah, he hard. Lil Baby hard. Yeah, but other than that, bro, I don't really, I don't really listen to nobody else. <clears throat> and, and, and Mo 3, before he passed away. Mo 3 R.I.P. Mo 3. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what you, what you feel like you gonna bring to the game, man? As far as like, you know, What's gonna be your mark? I'm gonna bring something different. Like I know everybody say the same thing. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring something different because I don't sound like everybody else. Mm -hmm. I'm just be me. You know, this is life, man. Be yourself. I don't sound like everybody else. Spit some real quick one time. You can spit some real quick. Yeah, man. I'm gonna go. Spit some real quick. Run a bag up, I got my bag up, yeah. Hop in the dad truck, 40 on me, nigga, back up, yeah. I'm finna act up, I got my bag up. I bailed out them handcuffs, I took her, they still tryna catch her, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm finna run on this bag, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm finna fuck up a bag, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm finna fuck up a bag. I'm finna fuck up a bag. I'm finna fuck up a bag. Oh, uh, today I just might go retarded, cash out a name and get mortgage, yeah. Threw everything in the bag. I walk out that bitch like I robbed it. Yeah, uh, can't tell me nothing. I like to show out in public. I'm dripping so hard like my diamond busted. Somebody bring me a mop bucket. Yeah, yeah. When you be see me, she start studying. Yo, bitch, a duck, so you know I dug it. I smoke on the loud, that's real musky. My money blue collar, Kentucky. These niggas macking my bag up, but these niggas broken they fool gay. I can see the hate far away with the transformer Gucci look, shades. Look, look, look. that's on, it. Now. That's Come it. On, now. That's I it. I keep going now. Red carpet. 
That's red what I carpet do, man. ready, man. Yeah, man. Red carpet ready. That's and another reason why I call myself red carpet. Uh -huh. I came out and called myself red carpet, but you know the streets call me AK. Okay. But you know my rap name red carpet because I feel like anywhere I go, man, I just feel like, man, I'm like that. Just yeah. roll the red carpet out for me. That's a good that's a good name and a good meaning to have behind it. Cause shit, I be feeling the same way, goddamn. I wish I could have a red carpet just <laughs> roll out my damn shoes sometime. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, let me see. Let me see. What do you what you think about all all the all the shit going on in the game, man? Like folks killing each other, man. Like what man, you think about? You that? know, man, it just it just that internet, man. That internet's so crazy, man. That internet's so crazy. You know, it's a lot of hating people, man. Mm -hmm. I feel like rappers, like even though you might got some rappers that's felons that can't bear no firearms, I feel like rappers should bear firearms. To protect themselves for their safety, man. Mm -hmm. You know that's my opinion. But you don't feel like security? They should have security though. Yeah, but sometimes security be lacking too though. Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, King Von. Like, yeah. People, you know what I'm saying? It, it could just, it could just. You don't never know how it go. You never know how shit go. You never know. You never know. Yeah, yeah, bro. But sometimes you know, you know yourself. Like sometimes you know yourself. You a family man, red carpet? You got yeah, I'm a family man. I okay. got three kids. Man. Okay, okay. Got three kids. What, what red carpet playing Santa Claus this year, man? What's going on? Oh yeah, you what, know you already you, know that they already stressing and worrying me you out. You get the right PS Five for they want the PS Five, huh? Yeah. How old they is? They might be watching it. Right? Yeah, oh, that's it. We ain't gonna tell nobody yet. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? You might get the PS Five. You might not. Yeah, red carpet says so, and yeah. Santa Claus. You know I got them. That's one thing I'm about for the kids. Okay. For the kids, man. Family man first. Okay. After that, man, it's music, man. That's all I do. Sleep, eat, shit. Fuck studio. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. That's it. As soon as I get back to North Carolina, that's the first place I'm going. First see my kids, I'm going straight to the studio. So, so what you got uh, coming up, man? What, what's, what, what can we look forward to? Red. Oh, Carpet. I just dropped a little EP. Okay. I just dropped a little EP called Japanese Stick. That's doing good. Okay. That's doing real good. You doing can little, find that on platforms. All platforms. Mm -hmm. Japanese Stick. Okay. Then you got Back on the Ass Again featuring China Monet. Okay. Then a song called Raw. Then mm -hmm. a song called Drinking Lasagna. That just you know gave you know gave me a little taste. Mm -hmm. But I got something major in the works though. I got a whole catalog. Like I got like no cap. Like I got like. 200 songs written in my head, like, okay. like, for real. All you gotta do is hit the studio. Yeah, that's it. I'm ready. I got a whole catalog. So, you know, when somebody comes to me, I'm ready. Okay, okay. Sound good, man. Um, Let me see. What can we do? I'm gonna do a bonus question. It's gonna be a bonus question. It's, it's totally off the subject, off, off all that. It ain't got nothing to do with music. It might have something to do with music. Let's see. What do you prefer? Do you prefer backwoods, swissers, or rolling papers? No, no, no. No, no. You don't smoke at all? Yeah, I'm talking about Dutchess, though, man. Oh, you smoke them Dutchess. Oh. Them farmers. You know, I ain't That's that 32. Carolina shit. I'm 32, but I'm like, I got an old soul, man. I need them palmas. I used to smoke them palmas back in the day. I need them palmas, man. Yeah. Them backwoods is too hard for me. I feel you. I feel you. They too hard. But let them folks know where to find you at, man. Tell, tell them folks what's going on, man. Yeah, y'all already know who this is, man. Mr. Red Carpet, man. Y'all can find Mr. Red Carpet on all platforms, man. Go check out that Japanese stick, man. Straight out of Fayetteville, North Carolina, man. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you for coming through, man. It was a pleasure. You already know. And we about to tune out. You now watching Verify ATL. It's your boy Ugly Money for show. And we out. Ah. <laughs>